I'm going to be explaining the 16 predictions made in Buddhism that is now true in these days which is also incorporated into gang stalking. Some of the predictions have been taken out because they are not necessary to focus on gang stalking. I'm using relevant predictions to support gang stalking. First three are not relevant. During time of the Buddha there was a king named Pasianadi Kosala. One night he had dreamed of 16 omens that frightened him. He was worried not knowing whether the good or bad things he had seen are going to happen or not. King went to Jetavana monastery and asked the Buddha about the meaning of those 16 dreams. Buddha explained the meaning of those 16 dreams as follows. Dream number four. King saw a group of people harnessing young calves to pull their wagons and while strong calves stay behind, young calves are struggling to pull their wagons. Buddha made the prediction that, bovine, in the distant future, people will favor young who lack experience, ability, omniscience and circumspection and still do not understand social customs, to govern a country, economy, society. They allow them to govern the affairs of the country while more experienced are neglected. This type of calamity will occur in the distant future. It won't be long and you will hear and see it happen. Dream number 5 King saw a one-headed horse with two mouths which can eat grass with both mouths but will not get full no matter how much it eats. Buddha made the prediction that, equine, in the distant future. Judges will extort money from both sides of the parties as bribery for inquisition. Some cases will get postponed to acquire more money. They will request all kinds of fees for their own satisfaction without mercy or ethics. This type of calamity will occur in the distant future. It won't be long and you will hear and see it happen. Dream number six. In short is the distortion of doctrine which misleads people and this is shown in every culture or religion. Check link in description for more details. Dream number 7. King saw a man weaving ropes on a bench and there is a female fox waiting to bite and eat the rope when it's completed. Once the rope was completed the fox set it all up. Buddha made the prediction that, a man weaving rope, in the distant future, Women desire having ample wealth, men, roaming in streets and waste their husband's earnings on food forward slash dresses, other men. This type of calamity will occur in the future, it will not be long and we will hear and see this. Dream number 8. King saw large earthen jars and small earthen jars in the same location. People will stand in queue to fill those large earthen jars with water until they overflow but no one care to fill those small earthen jars. Buddha made the prediction that, earthen jar, in the distant future people will make donations selectively. Senior monks with high rank will get attention and people will give too much offerings with expensive goods and food, whereas novices sitting beside those senior monks will not be presented with any offerings at all. The people will have to work much harder to pay their tax to the rulers without thinking of saving some for them. This type of calamity will occur in the future. It will not be too long for all to see and hear. Dream number 9. King saw a pond with clear water but the water in the middle of the pond was muddy and dirty. All animals went to the center of the pond to drink but they didn't care about the clean and cool water at the pond's bank, they just smelt it and passed by it. Buddha made the prediction that, large pond, in the distant future people will be endlessly greedy, they can't get enough possessions. 
kings will become immoral having no compassion toward fellow citizens and rule the country by being indulged in four extremes, satara agati, and means of bribery and corruption. Capitals will not be suitable living places because of an increase of dangers. The public will migrate to rural areas. This type of calamity will occur in the future. It will not be too long for all of us to hear and see. Dream number 11. King saw a group of people exchanging cores of red sandalwood which is expensive to trade with just a pot of sour milk which is absolutely incomparable in value. Buddha made the prediction that, core of red sandalwood, in the distant future, a group of people will trade my teachings for money. They will publish and sell them to make a living. They will try to make all kinds of business with my teachings to earn money which is incomparable to the value of the teachings. These calamities will occur towards the end of the Buddhist era. It will not be long and all will certainly hear and witness this. Dream number 12. King saw a dried up hollow bottle gourd sinking into the water which would normally float on the water. This truly baffled him. Buddha made the prediction that, dried up hollow bottle gourd, in the distant future, good knowledgeable and wise individuals both monks and laymen who deserve praise and admiration in society will be hindered by groups of bullies repeatedly. Good laymen will not get the chance to work in the country's administration. Those that are knowledgeable, capable and honest will not be elected into the higher government positions and if they will be elected then there will be groups of dishonest people working for their own benefits trying to harass them. Good and well-disciplined monks, highly educated which strive for the achievement of Nibbana or work to help the society will be considered as undesirable to them and get no respect from them. Eventually, good monks will fade away and disappear from society. This type of calamity will occur in the future and it will not be long before all will see and hear. Dream number 13 King saw a solid block of stone as big as a ship floating of the surface of water like an empty bark. Normally such stone would sink but that block of stone just floated on the surface of water. Buddha made the prediction that, big solid stone, in the distant future, bad people will get praised and be admired in society. They will have rank and power, they will be popular and dignified. They will have many subordinates and followers. If they were laymen they will be well liked and respected everywhere they go. This type of calamity will occur in the future and it will not be long before all will see and hear. Dream number 15. King saw a crow surrounded by golden swans wherever the crow went those golden swans will surround it as followers. Buddha made the prediction that, golden swans served a crow, in the distant future, kings will be unskilled in warcraft and admire and pay respect to immoral monks as teachers. The crow is clever and devious in giving gifts in return for the respect of all little swans, small swans, and big swans. The swans will show how important the crow is by more status and titles. This will happen in the distant future and all will hear and see. Dream number 16. King saw a herd of goats hunting tigers and enjoying eating the tiger's meat. Buddha made the prediction that, tigers were afraid of being hunted by goats and disappeared, in the distant future, during the rain's immoral rulers. Immoral people will become partial to those rulers and receive wealth and be satisfied with a monarchy. Moral people will slowly fade away from the society. Immoral supporters who are highly respected, trusted, and praised misuse their power to benefit themselves and their siblings. This type of event will happen in the distant future and we all will hear and see it. Almost every above forecast happens in today's society. 
These four warnings were given to the world to acknowledge not only for King Pasir Nadi. We can see it happen in many societies in the world.